there's another stud here at the very top it hooks into the box then there's another one right underneath here like that it's pointing straight down and they can slide through the little plastic slide right there as you slide it back now you're gonna have to pop these quarter panel trims off on the side Got the unscrew panel here at the bottom so far and so on to get those out both sides now to drop your column down uh, just as we did there it's two 10 millimeters to hold a column up also Um, you see where the bolt held the, the dash in, right there, like that, on the firewall, and on oh, the kick panel, excuse me, and then on this side, you have to disconnect this, unscrew that, so you can pull the kick panel out, then the actual parking release, right here, there's a rod, if you can see it, this rod right here, it hooks up to this little flip lever right there. All you have to do is pop it off and you don't have to pull it all the way out, just flip it. Just pop it off the pop the rod off of there and flip it up. That's that one. And then the other one is the actual hood release. If you can see, there's two bolts. They're Phillips head. And like that. The actual hood latch and there are the bolts for the column that go up in there like that and uh, it's not that hard you probably pull it out in about 30 minutes to an hour depends on your expertise anyway we'll be done in just a second oh don't forget to chalk your tires so that you won't knock your truck out of gear because with your parking brake now hooked up. Um, drop the column. Yeah, yeah. If you drop the column, it'll be out of gear. So make sure you chop your tires. And uh, that's pretty much it. Old and new. Pop it in and you don't have a smoky windshield anymore. All of a sudden. Anyway, CJ with ART, restore your car at yahoo.com.